So, good afternoon, everyone. A uh, very happy new year to everybody who's watching this video uh, in 2023. And uh, yep, so here we are in the first video of our PyTorch series. And the first video is going to be about installation and setting up PyTorch primarily. So we'll be using uh, Anaconda for this. Anaconda is an extremely effective package manager. It allows you to create environments uh, where you can have your desired Python version along with the desired versions of other supplementary libraries such as NumPy, PyTorch, etc. And so, yeah, in the first video, we'll be setting up Anaconda and setting up Python, installing our PyTorch version and creating an environment as well. So let's get on with the video, guys. Hello, everyone. Uh, so here we are on the official Anaconda website. As you can see on the right hand side here, we have the download option. I'm on a Mac OS, but uh, if you guys are Windows or Ubuntu Linux users, then you can press on one of these icons here. It will take you to the bottom of the page where you will find all the different versions which can be installed compatible with different architectures. So I can click on this download button. It will like download the package installer. But to speed things up, I have already done the installation. If you guys face any issues during the installation step, uh, please feel free to put them down in the comments below. I will try to solve them as soon as possible. So here is my terminal and I have already installed Anaconda. As you can see on the right hand side, I have the base environment, which is the environment which gets activated when you install Anaconda for the first time. Let's go ahead and create a new environment for our experiments. We'll name it as PyTorch series and you specify the name in the create command using the minus n flag. And for our use case, we'll be using Python 3.8. So this is how you can specify your Python version. You can also specify a numpy version if you want. And there you go. These are the libraries which are going to be installed. And uh, once these libraries are installed, we will be able to activate our environment and start experimenting with it. Let's move on to the next step to see how we can do that. Activating the conda environment is extremely easy. You just type in conda activate and the name of the environment that you just created. You will see that the base environment name gets changed to the one that you created. PyTorch series in our use case. The next step in the process is to install PyTorch. We are on the PyTorch website and as you can see the latest PyTorch version has released. It's 1.12 and uh, lucky for us we have the conda command right here which we will be using to install PyTorch. We'll just copy paste this command in our terminal and uh, we'll install PyTorch along with the libraries which are necessary. The first step would be to activate the environment that we just created uh, which is PyTorch series. So we'll just go ahead and use the command conda activate pytorch series in order to do that and then we'll paste the commands that we copied from the pytorch website this will uh, prompt us with all the libraries that are going to be installed along with pytorch 1.12 so now that the installation is completed let's go ahead and check if pytorch is uh, getting imported or not and uh, we'll just print the version to see if it works properly as expected so pytorch seems to be imp imported we'll just go ahead and print the version and uh, yep it's 1.12 just the one that we downloaded 